Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Friday Night Young at Heart, featuring nursery rhymes, stories, songs, poems, Mother Goose, Aesop's Fables, Lewis Carroll, Limericks, Larks, Epics, stories of the great operas, and such. To keep us all young at heart, I'm Father James Delusio, back from my vacation with family and friends in Florida. Had a wonderful time. And here I'm going to present to you another one of the favorite stories that was told to me in my childhood. It was inspired by some of my vacation time with my godson, Vincent, who's a real fan of the Disney Marvel movies. <clears throat> we watched his favorites. Guardians of the Galaxies, and the Thor saga. And it was the Thor saga. You know Thor, you know, the god of thunder from the Norwegian myths. That got me thinking of a favorite story of my childhood that was read to me, and then we shared it often as we grew up among our siblings. It was from Norway. <clears throat> yes, a Norwegian folktale entitled Three. Billy Goats Gruff. Yeah, perhaps you remember it from your childhood as well. So here we go. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats and they lived on a hillside overlooking a cold, icy river. Now, these three billy goats were brothers and the oldest and the wisest and the strongest and the most courageous and strong did I say strongest already? I think so. He was there. And the second, the second billy goat, slightly younger than the first, but also strong, not quite as large or muscular, but courageous too. The third billy goat, their baby brother, was not as strong nor as courageous, although he was brave indeed. Yet, rather shy and withdrawn. Well, they lived quite well on this lovely hill overlooking the icy blue river until one day they realized that they had eaten every blade of grass on the hill and they were hungry. Now, jumping into the icy river and its rushing rapids was a little too much for them and Fortunately, there was a bridge that would carry them over the river, and on the other side was a plateau rich in greenery, great fields of grass and leaves, and many good things for three billy goats to crunch and munch on. Indeed. Yet there was a problem as there often is in these tales, for the bridge was controlled by a greedy, ravenous troll. It seems that Norway was overpopulated with trolls, but this one was the worst of all. He liked eating animals. And so... They pondered what were they going to do because they risked their lives in going over that bridge and the river was far too wide. So they devised a plan. Now, which brother came up with the plan? I'm going to let you imagine, but a plan they came upon nonetheless. The youngest, the littlest of the billy goats goes over the bridge first and the troll pounced on him. Who's crossing my bridge? I am going to eat you. Well, the th little billy goat said, please, please, Mr. Troll, you don't want to eat me. I have two brothers. They are much stronger. There's a lot more meat on them. Why devour me when you can have a succulent dinner with them? Hmm, thought the troll, this makes good sense. And he wasn't that hungry anyway, so he lets the youngest of the billy goats cross the bridge. 
who then begins to eat the new sweet grass that was just waiting for him. Shortly thereafter, the middle billy goat brother comes across the bridge and the troll is ready to pounce. But he too said, <clears throat> Listen, fellow, we could tangle, we could fight. You might or might not get the better of me, but why waste your time and your energy on me? For our oldest brother, the biggest billy goat, big, big, really big, will be coming shortly after me, and you can have quite a feast with him. In fact, you can invite your fellow trolls to come. He's such a big billy goat. Hmm. The troll thought, this sounds like quite a treat. So he lets the middle billy goat cross the bridge. At last, the biggest, the strongest, the mightiest, the most courageous of the brother billy goats comes across the bridge. And the troll jumps up and is ready to pounce. But this billy goat was larger and meaner and stronger than he ever, ever imagined. And the oldest billy goat gets the best of the troll. And although he has mercy, because he could have killed him with his horns, he does not. But he butts him, but, but he butts them. Little alliteration there. He but he butts them him off into the river, that cold, icy river, and he gets carried away by the rapids and is never seen or heard of again. And the third billy goat joins his brothers, and the plain has had lots of rain, and it's green and lush, and those three billy goats munched and munched and lived happily ever after. So there you go. Thanks for coming back to Friday Night, Young at Heart, Father James DeLucio signing off. Hope you're enjoying your summer, had some time away, or are still preparing for a very lovely, restful, relaxing vacation. We need those, you know. They're as important as Sabbath rest. And I hope as the summer draws to a close and you're back to school or work or activities that you and I both think of observing more of a Sabbath on our Sunday or Saturday or whatever day our Sabbath may be. Try to do a little less work. Try to do no work. Try to just relax and enjoy quiet time, true quiet time. <coughs> well, I'm getting a little hoarse, so I'm going to sign off. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Have a great weekend.